Thank you, man. Well, thank you very much, everybody. I want to thank Bruce and all of the people that have worked so hard to make this area beautiful and safe. And this is what happened is such a sad, sad event, such a horrible thing. And it's happening all too often. And we're just not going to let it happen. We just can't. 21 times arrested his thug. And uh, the person in the car with him was arrested many times. And they don't learn because they don't respect. They don't, they're not given the respect. The police are the greatest people we have. There's nothing and there's nobody like them. And this should never happen. I just visited with a very beautiful wife that now doesn't have her husband. Stephanie was uh, just incredible. Their child, brand new, beautiful baby, sitting there, innocent as can be, and doesn't know how his life has been changed. But uh, the Diller family will, you'll never be the same. You can never be the same. And we have to stop it. We have to stop it. We have to get back to law and order. We have to do a lot of things differently because this is not working. This is happening too often. Uh, it's an honor to be here. And again, I want to just thank all of you folks for uh, allowing this. And Bruce, thank you. Bruce has been a friend of mine for a long time. He's done an incredible job out here. But uh, this is such a sad occasion. Uh, the only thing we can say is maybe something is going to be learned. We've got to toughen it up. We've got to strengthen it up. This should never be allowed. Things like this shouldn't take place and to take place so often. So thank you all for being here. It's an honor. And it's an honor for me to be here. This is a great family, the Diller family. I met the friends and I met every one of them inside. And these are just incredible people that are just devastated. They're devastated. They've got a tough road. It's going to be a very tough road. So thank you very much, everybody. Appreciate it. In dissecting Donald Trump's oratory, our focal point shifts towards the poignant themes of sorrow, anguish, and the inherent fragility of human existence. Trump's rhetoric, steeped in the rhetoric of law and order, echoes a cornerstone democratic principle, the reverence for security and authority. His characterization of the wrongdoer as a thug and the clarion call to get back to law and order are emblematic of the conservative narrative concerning crime and its repercussions. Trump's proactive stance and his call for reform can be deconstructed as a response to the absurdity of rampant violence, urging a confrontation with unwavering courage and resilience. His accolades for law enforcement underscore the pivotal role of the police in upholding societal harmony, thereby garnering democratic endorsement. Trump's insistence on fortifying society to glean lessons from calamity and forestall its recurrence serves as an affirmation of human solidarity and accountability amidst adversity. His empathetic gestures towards victims and their kin reflect a quest for moral rectitude and equitable justice, acknowledging the profound emotional toll of grief and bereavement. On the afflicted, Trump's words resonate with conservative apprehensions regarding public safety, advocating for a robust countermeasure against criminality. 